down, step front, and up, down, and still. It's said that Merce Cunningham changed the definition of dance when he became the first modern choreographer to discard music and plot, to concentrate on the pure movement of bodies. Other artists were attracted to Cunningham's work, and he's collaborated with some legendary figures, including Robert Rauschenberg, Jasper Johns, John Cage, and David Tudor. What's unique about Cunningham's collaborations is that each artist creates his work separately. For instance, the dancer doesn't dance to the music. Music and dance are merely performed at the same time. It's an idea that's kind of hard to get used to, and I wondered whether dancers had trouble blocking out the music. No. Um, do you block out the sound you're hearing now in the street? It's, it, it's there. And you, in a sense, you do what you're doing. I'm doing this while that's going on. And together that makes a kind of, um, it makes the situation we happen to be in. Well, I've carried that into the idea of making a dance. The music is made separately from the dance, but they operate or take place at the same time. How do you begin to choreograph a dance? I make movements. I make like one step, and then I uh, figure out what that step is, and then I, ma I make another one. And then I go back and practice the two together, see one after the other, so I'll remember it. We're mostly accustomed to thinking that things have to be done or explained or, or whatever in words. But I, I, for me, it's always been movement. Do we have to know a lot about dance to enjoy your work? Oh, I hope not. I, I th rather think that people who don't know anything about dancing might like it very much. Because <laughs> then they wouldn't have to worry about what they did know. It's often w when you know something, then it doesn't fit what you know, then you think, oh, it can't be very good or there's something wrong. And I think, always think that with uh, people, one of the marvelous things about us as humans is that we can change our minds. We can shift. We can open ourselves to something which isn't just like what it was or isn't just like what we thought. We are being forced every day to do this anyway, so we might as, again, we might as well try to do it in, in uh, as many ways as possible. It's obvious that Cunningham doesn't want to be bound by rules or conventions. As a result, he's always trying something new. Like this dance for television. For me, it was an adventure. That is, this was a visual medium which I didn't know anything about. I didn't know how to turn a camera on and off. I never had a brownie as a child. I didn't know anything about that. On the stage, if you, if you, if you want somebody not to be there, they have to go away. <laughs> they have to leave. But with the camera, you just move the camera. <laughs> and, they're no, no and they're no longer there. <laughs> Hold on. Ba, ba, go. One, two, three. I can, so to speak, use movement easier than words. Uh, I can think of something moving uh, without having to, a word for it necessarily, and that makes somehow sense to me. And I can then think of another movement which makes sense to me in that way, and that's the way I've dealt all my life.